Yo, what's up guys, it's Mills back with a brand new video and we're back on some more Call of Duty World War 2. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the different classes that I use for sniping, the classes that give me the most success. I'm hoping you guys can take away something from this video and I hope that this helps you. If maybe some of you guys are just starting off sniping and you don't exactly know what the best classes are, well then this is the video for you. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into it. First of all, you got to pick your sniper and the three snipers that I recommend, there are four in the game, but the three that I recommend are the Lee Enfield, the M1903 Springfield or the the Car 98K. I would stay far, far away from the Carabin because it is a semi-automatic sniper that only gets one-shot kills in the head, so I wouldn't recommend it. If you guys end up hitting clips with this sniper, they're probably not going to be usable, so I would stick to the three bolt-action snipers, and plus, bolt-action snipers just look better in clips anyway, so stick to those. If you guys are wondering what the best sniper in the game is, it is easily the Car 98K. It has a great scope and speed, a really, really good one-shot kill range, and it shoots really, really quick for a sniper, so so I would highly recommend the Car 98K, especially if you're just starting off as it is the easiest and best sniper in the game and it looks really good in clips as well. This sniper I would recommend to anybody, doesn't matter what you're doing, if you're trying to hit clips, if you're trying to just snipe, this is a really really good go-to sniper. This is personally what I play with the most, this is my most used sniper, but of course there are different snipers that you can pick as well. The boomstick sniper rifle of this game is the Springfield M1903, it is the sniper with the highest damage as you can see, it's got a 10 out of 10 rating on its damage. It it is extremely rare that you will get a hit marker with this weapon. Probably one in every hundred shots you will get a hit marker. It has absurd damage. I'm pretty sure it can get a one-shot kill in the legs. It is an extremely good sniper for one-shot kills. Pretty much never ever going to get a hit marker, but it does have some downsides. It scopes in a tad bit slower and also its fire rate is not nearly as fast as the Car 98. If you guys are more experienced with sniping and maybe you don't want to use the Car 98K because it's so easy, definitely go for the Springfield. If you hit clips with the Springfield, they are way more impressive than if you were to hit them with the Lee Enfield or the Car 98K, just simply because of the difficulty of this weapon. I would like to consider myself a pretty decent sniper, but when I use the Springfield, I definitely find it a little bit more challenging. However, don't let the difficulty of this weapon stray you away. It is a great sniper for anybody who is a beginner to use. If you're a beginner, most likely your accuracy isn't going to be great, so you might be shooting people in the legs. If that is the case, you might as well use the Springfield. It'll help you until you get your accuracy up there. And also, this goes without saying, this sniper is the best across the board, hands down, for trick shotting, as the one shot kill zone is absolutely absurd on this weapon. Now, this video won't be covering trick shotting classes, however, if you guys are trick shotters, this is the sniper to go with. The Lee Enfield is probably the weakest sniper out of all the bolt actions in the game, and it's just really, really average. Its damage is average, its scope and speed is average, and its fire rate is average. It's really nothing too incredible, it's kind of the worst sniper out of all of them. If you guys are familiar with Black Ops 2, maybe you've sniped on Black Ops 2, the Springfield is basically the DSR and the Car 98K is the Ballista. The Lee Enfield we just don't include in the list because it's really not the best sniper in the game. However, because it's not the best sniper in the game, if you do end up hitting clips with this, it is more impressive than hitting clips with the Car 98. For the sake of this video, we're gonna go with the Car 98 because that is the sniper that I use most often. The attachments that I use on it are Rapid Fire and Extended Mags. You could go with Ballistic Calibration instead of Extended Mags, however, I don't feel like it's necessary. I don't think the weapon has an absurd amount of sway and extended mags is extremely helpful with going for clips as it gives you seven shots in your magazine instead of five. It allows you to just get more kills without having to reload and it can really really help you with clips. Rapid fire is just a must have on any sniper that you're using. It doesn't matter if you're using the Springfield or the Lee Enfield or the Car 98K. Rapid fire is the best attachment for a sniper. If you guys unlock rapid fire 100% prioritize this attachment over any other other attachment in the game. It is a game changer, it just allows you to get kills back to back much quicker, allowing you to hit clips easier. When it comes to the divisions, there are three different divisions that are going to give you the most success when it comes to sniping. The ones that I use are Airborne, Armored, and Mountain. These three are the best ones when it comes to sniping. As you can see, I still need to level up Armored. I haven't really used it that much because I've just been mainly sticking to Airborne and Mountain. Airborne is just excellent for those non-objective game modes such as Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed where you don't have to sit on an objective. It perfectly suits a run and gun type of playstyle. If you're a sniper who likes to go from spawn to spawn really quickly, likes to really be up in the enemy's face, this is an amazing division to go for. It's very simple what it does, it just gives you more mobility. It allows you to sprint longer, climb over things faster, and also it increases your sprint speed. So it is really, really good for team deathmatch and kill confirmed. As in those game modes, spawns tend to flip a little bit more often than something like domination. It's much more fast paced, so being able to get all over the place is really 
really helpful. You want to make sure you're maximizing the amount of clip opportunities you're having. And this division is probably the best out of all of them when it comes to that. Armored is a division that I haven't used at all pretty much since the start of the game, but it is still a fantastic division. After I finish this video, I am going to be going and leveling this up. It's absolutely amazing for objective game modes such as domination and hard point and pretty much any other game mode that you have to sit on an objective. This is the best best division for those game modes. If you manage to max this out, unlike me, it gives you immunity to shell shock and tactical equipment. You take less fire damage and take significantly less explosive damage. That is huge for domination or hard point where people are throwing grenades all over the place. You basically have immunity to those. So for any sniper who likes to take a more laid back approach and likes to play objective game modes, this is a really good division and I would highly recommend it. And finally, the last division that I would recommend is the mountain division. And this is the one specifically made for sniping. In my opinion, you could really use this for any game mode. You could use this for non-objective game modes or even for domination, but where this division really shines is in free-for-all. Personally, I've been playing a little bit of free-for-all and I realize how amazing free-for-all really is in this game. So if you guys really like free-for-all, this is the division to go for. On the stats, it says it gives you sniper sharpshooter. And what sniper sharpshooter is, is it's basically aim assist. In case you guys didn't know, the snipers on this game don't have aim assist by default. And what sniper sharpshooter does is it allows you to hold your breath and while holding your breath, you will get a little bit of aim assist. Now that is really, really useful as it is. It is probably the most useful thing when it comes to the mountain division, but the mountain division also offers other really, really good perks, such as always invisible to enemy recon aircraft, hidden to player controlled streaks and silent movement. This is why it is so good for free for all silent movement. If you guys play with a headset, which I really recommend you do, silent movement is phenomenal for free for all as you can just sound whore everybody without having to worry about other people hearing your footsteps you can just run all over the map and not make a single noise so to recap airborne is good for team deathmatch and kill confirmed armored is good for objective game modes such as domination or hard point where you have to stay on an objective mountain can really work for any game mode but as i said it exceeds in free-for-all it is just amazing in that game mode when it comes to basic training i pick hustle as it allows you to reload faster and also allows you to reload while sprinting there's not really much i can say about that it just helps a lot because it keeps you on the move however if you guys aren't really too concerned about reloading faster or while sprinting, I would go for primed. I tend to switch a lot between primed and hustle. Hustle seems to be my preferred, but primed is extremely good as well as the number one beneficial factor that it gives you is less flinch when shot. There is a lot of flinch whenever you get shot in this game. And it also gives you an additional primary attachment. I'm telling you guys, if you guys are using primed, the only other attachment you want is ballistic calibration. Ballistic calibration, it just reduces the sway on all your snipers. I don't really find ballistic calibration that beneficial except for the Springfield. It does wonders on the Springfield. The Springfield for some reason just seems to have way more sway than any of the other snipers as it does have the largest one shot kill area. So they had to balance it in some way. Ballistic calibration works excellently on the Springfield. When it comes to the secondary, you can really choose whatever you find suits you best. Personally, I like the machine pistol. Yeah, its damage is really, really bad in comparison to the other pistols, but that fire rate and the fact that it's fully automatic it's just, I, I personally like it the most. However, the M1911 has the highest damage and the PO8 is just kind of a balanced all around pistol. Personally, I go for the machine pistol just because I feel like it helps me the most. However, as I said, that's completely up to you. The only attachment that I find useful on any pistols across the board is extended mags. The fact that you can have more shots, it gives you more of an opportunity to kill the person in front of you because most likely with pistols, you're only going to kill one person. But if you have extended mags, perhaps you could get more than one kill if you really need it. When it comes to the piece of equipment pretty standard just a tactical concussion grenade I find this to just be the best in the game I don't really like using lethals that much I really like the concussion because you can just throw it if there's a lot of people in the area they're all stunned right there and it's pretty easy to kill all of them yeah it looks really bad for clips if you stun people but you only have one of them I don't really feel like it helps you with hitting clips as much as it does with just that odd encounter where you need someone to stand still for you but anyway guys that is pretty much the end of this video I hope that this class setup video helps somebody out there I hope you guys took something away from this if you guys try these classes and it turns out you don't like them and you find something else that works better for you, of course that's completely fine. It is personal preference at the end of the day. Make sure you guys use whatever classes give you the best success, but I'm just letting you guys know that this is what I use. This is what I use to hit clips, to snipe, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. If I'm sniping, these are the classes that I go for. But anyway guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I'm gonna have my last video up on screen. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.